Hey everybody, Mark Johnson here, founder and creative director of Able Ape Studios. Back again with another vlog. This is a turning pro vlog. Um, I think this is number 33. So yeah, right off the bat, hope everyone is off to a great week. Uh, start of another week. And um, yeah, for myself, I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling, you know, confident of what I've been doing. And I'm um, seeing things actually get to a point where I can see them completed so I'm excited about that um, but what I wanted to do today is much like I did in the last video where I showed or gave you um, from an article I read um, eight productivity tips for freelancers um, as I kind of got on this topic of just kind of really thinking about my process and where I how I got to where I am today um, I kind of went back to some of the things that were very pivotal in that you know in you know information that I gathered that was pivotal to help me to uh, make my transition and what I'm going to share with you today is how to reinvent your career um, I know a lot of people have thought about changing careers or maybe going from one industry to another and um, definitely wanted to show um, the information that I used that gave me an insight on how to do that and um, how to do it with um, not so much risk involved because definitely it's a risky thing you know to take you know your current position and then switch it all the way up you know that's definitely one of those things that can be very uh, anxiety inducing and definitely filled with a lot of risk especially if you have a family you know if you have children or um, definitely some obligations or responsibilities um, that go along with you so I want to be able to share with you these five tips on how to help you reinvent your career. So the, <laughs> so the number one tip on how to help you reinvent your career, understanding that it is a risky take, you know, a risky situation, or understanding that, um, well, number one, there's risk involved, and that you know, changing careers can um, end up with some things you may not have anticipated. So the number one tip is just decide. Make that decision um, on where you would like to go or what the type of work that you would like to do. Uh, understanding where you are right now in your job, in your career, um, it doesn't have to be the same. You know, It doesn't have to be that you work this job until you retire. You can actually start one job, work it for a while, and realize that this is not the opportunity for you and then go from there. Now it was kind of my position. I worked this job for a while and um, I just kind of realized that I wasn't going to get the, the type of work, um, the opportunities um, to, 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 to level up um, in this industry or this job. And so I had to take it upon myself to really make a decision and transition out of that. And so that's kind of what I did. I made a decision realized I wasn't happy where I was at and um, you know took the steps from there to transition out so the number one tip is just make that decision you know and be able to um, be prepared for what may come from there so the second tip or the next step would be establish a time frame you know give yourself some opportunity to do some research on this new opportunity that you're looking at you know saying a great way to do this is just kind of really by you know sitting down and just kind of searching your life understand the things that you want to be able to create within your life and take that time frame to do that you know saying take the time to do the research ask the questions and um, really see what life for you would look like as you transition the third tip on how to reinvent your career is to get some guidance this is huge this is you know saying you want to search out the people in your industry and ask them questions a great way to do this is to find a mentor you know saying uh, find someone who's already in the industry that you want to try to get into or working at the company that you want to work at or doing the type of work that you want to do and ask them questions just get in front of them and ask them questions um, another way to do this is to 
maybe it's a, a, a company or maybe it's a certain industry that you want to get into you know request informational interviews you know get on the phone and ask who you can talk to that would kind of give you some information on what it's like to work at this company or work in this industry and use that information to help you better make a decision um, on how you're going to achieve this goal of reinventing your career. So the fourth tip on how to reinvent your career is understanding that you may need to build new skills. Okay, In best case scenario, maybe the job that you're working at right now, you already have the skills that you need to transition to this new opportunity. And that would be great. But in some cases, you don't have the skills, which would be not as good. But the, another, Another, I guess, step I'll add on to that would be maybe you have some of the skills, but you don't have all of them. And so what you need to kind of think about is giving yourself that time frame to either brush up on new skills, learn new skills, which may mean, you know, taking a couple classes or, you know, now that we have this um, advent of class courses online, you can probably take some courses online that will give you the skills. and. Um, you know, just kind of brush up on those, you know, um, take the class, take the course, and see if you can build those skills up. And understand that you may take the opportunity or move, transition to the new job, and you may not have the all the skills fully, but in time and in process, you can build those skills up to be at top level of what you need to be doing for this new job. And understand that, you know, it, again, it's going to take some time. There's going to be a little bit of time there where you are maybe uh, kind of feeling like you're floating there. And so I know that situation because where I was at, I was definitely feeling like I don't have the skills for all this because a lot of the stuff was taken care of for me because now that I'm more, in a sense, more of a freelancer, um, a lot of the business side of it, I have to take care of the marketing side. I got to take care of that the networking side I gotta take care of that rather than just being in a position where I show up do my job and go home each and every day and so my last tip for you today on how to reinvent your career is understand understanding the game you gotta understand that you may have to be flexible and when I say flexible I'm meaning that you may find a position that you love you know it's an opportunity for you to really do the work that you you feel you were born to do, but you have to start at a, a lower level. Or, you know, you gotta take a little bit of a pay cut. But understand, understand, understand well, both of these things are really just milestones on to what you can really uh, actually do. Because in time, you may be able to, you know, get to the next level, because the work you're doing is that, is that good or you will be able to negotiate a higher salary because the work that you're doing is so good. And understand all these things, if you're doing work that you love, you'll do whatever it takes to get there, right? So um, those have been my five tips <laughs> on how to reinvent your career. And understand, reinvention, like I started out, is risky. Reinvention can be scary, um, but I think at the same time, the, the, the benefit of it is doing work that you love, doing work that motivates you, doing work that you're excited to get up in the morning and get to get to it, you know what I'm saying? And if that's the payoff, maybe you're willing to take a pay cut to start, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you're willing to take um, you know, a lower position to, to start. Um, but at the same time, the excitement that you are doing work that you enjoy, that you love, is really the key here is really the big payoff and so that's that for me has been the reason why I transitioned because um, I want to do work that I love I want to do work that I enjoyed and I want to be excited um, each and every morning to get to work and yeah it may be some stumbles there along the way but I think at the same time those stumbles are a part of the growing experience and if you can you know wait the wave of those you know tough times again some people have more responsibilities than I had you know or you know more obligations than I had you know maybe you have a family maybe you have you know a mortgage you need to pay and I understand all those things and so these are things you want to 
want to keep in mind. Um, and with these five steps, you can better make the transition a little sm more smooth for yourself and in the end, be able to gain work that you love. So again, those have been my five tips on how to reinvent your career. Hopefully they've been helpful to you in some way. Um, I know they were helpful to me as I was making my transition, or at least even starting to make my transition. Because at a certain point I wasn't really um, ready. And so I had to take time to kind of really get there. So um, if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you like the points that I point out and maybe you have some other points that you will want to share, definitely leave those in the comment box below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And if you've seen maybe other videos on my channel and you like what I'm doing with the channel, definitely subscribe. I know I have um, a few books that I'm looking forward to review on this channel and I know I have a lot more content um, that I can produce. I just got to keep up with the with the workload and that's kind of really the, the big step here. So um, again, hope everyone's off to a great week and like we always do this time, have a blessed day. See you on the flip side. Let's go.